If you're looking for the best aquarium vacuum cleaner, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Leaf Aquarium Siphon Vacuum Cleaner. If you have been keeping aquariums for as long as I have, then you probably hated using rubber hoses to siphon water from the tank into buckets. This is most likely because you hate getting a mouthful of disgusting tank water in your mouth when you are trying to get the water to flow. This will not be an issue with this option for the most well-known aquarium vacuum for sand. The reason is that you only need to pump a rubber ball to start the water flow. Even if you own a large tank, you will have plenty of hose to work with. This siphon has a 7FT long rubber hose so you can reach the bottom of 100 gallon tanks easily. It also comes with a handy clip that secures the outlet onto the edge of the bucket. This prevents the other end from accidentally spraying water all over your floor. Although this device is quite handy, I did not like the filter attachment. I have a tank that holds a couple of goldfish and the filter gets clogged easily whenever I try to clean up the mess that my fish made. The filter is simply too fine to let the solid waste created by bigger fish. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Cass and Aquarium Gravel Cleaner. The thing that I hated the most when using some battery-operated aquarium vacuum cleaners is that you will need to dip your hands in the water, an entire arm for bigger tanks to reach the corners of the tank. This device has a long handle that enables you to clean your tank thoroughly but with the added benefit of keeping your hands dry. This is one of the easiest to use of all the battery-operated fish tank vacuum cleaners I have tested these past couple of years. You can see the priming pump at the handle of the gravel cleaner so you can immediately start cleaning once the water starts flowing. The pump is efficient as it will only take a couple of pumps to get the water going. However, if you are going to fill it back again, you will need to elevate the buckets to well above the top of the aquarium. If you don't, then the siphon would not work. I would have loved using this tool more often if only the priming pump was a bit more durable. After using it just one time, I can already tell that the pump uses flimsy plastic for its construction. In addition, after using it for a month, partial water changes every week, the pump had a small tear which made it worthless. Thankfully, I was able to repair it temporarily using a bit of tape. The number 3 position is held by Kudi Vacuum Gravel Cleaner. This product is a 3-in-1 aquarium cleaning solution. First, it is an electric gravel cleaner, a sludge remover, and a handy submersible pump for water changes. I have to admit, I was not expecting to like this product as much as I do right now. It has a kind of versatility that made it one of the most used tools in my arsenal. Another nice attachment that this tool has is the water filter. This attaches to the water outlet and forces the water through several layers of filter media. With that, it helps prevent the water from getting cloudy. Unlike other gravel cleaners, it can circulate the water instead of removing it from the tank. Even though a solid submersible pump powers up this cleaner, it was surprisingly gentle when it was cleaning the gravel. The gravel in my tank was clean but the fish inside the tank hardly even noticed that I was cleaning their home. This cleaner did not startle even the small fish in my tank. You can also use this tank cleaner effectively on larger tanks because the pump needs to be submerged in the water. Because of its size, you cannot use this effectively on tanks smaller than 30 gallons. There won't be enough water to go over the pump, which, in turn, will result in the pump motor overheating. Next at number 4 we have Hager Automatic Fish Tank Vacuum Cleaner. The nice thing about this aquarium cleaner is that it can clean the gravel efficiently without the need for an external pump. You connect the other end on your faucet and when you turn on the water, it will create a siphon effect that will provide suction on the inlet. The stronger the water pressure, the stronger the suction it produces. This set also comes with all the fittings needed to connect the aquarium cleaner to any faucet in your home. This means that even if you do not have a threaded faucet, you will still be able to use this tool. Luckily, there was an identical one made of metal in my local hardware store so I could still use this nifty product. The number 5 position is held by Fortune Star Fish Tank Cleaner. With the help of simple physics, you can keep your aquarium clean and healthy. This may look complicated, but it is nothing more than a siphon system, albeit you no longer need to suck on one end of the hose using your mouth. I like the trigger design of the priming pump. It makes it a lot easier to get the water flowing. 
This device comes with several attachments that add a lot of uses. I like the extension tubing because I have a 50 gallon tank and this add-on helps me reach the corners without getting my arm wet. If you have a large tank, then you would like the additional reach this tank cleaner comes with. Aside from cleaning the tank, I also use this for partial and complete water changes. I like that I could fix the inlet pipe to the side of the tank so I did not need to hold it until the tank was empty. Not needing to gradually ladle water out of the tank makes water changes no longer such a chore. The only problem I had with this device is that the hose that came with it is a bit too big. The hose felt loose when connected to the outlet too. I had to put a bit of Teflon tape on the outlet to make the hose fit snug. This is not that much of an issue, but it would have been better if I did not need to fix it myself. The number 6 position is dominated by Enamol Gravel Aquarium Vacuum Cleaning. I have had the misfortune of having sucked more than one small fish through a gravel cleaner but this is not a possibility with this product. For starters, the inlet tube is large and clear so I could see if any small fish or shrimp accidentally swam into it. There is also a small grate that prevents gravel and fish from going through the tube. It is a failsafe that works quite well. This best electric gravel vacuum comes with a complete set of adapters so you can attach the outlet part to any faucet you might have in your house. This kit also comes with a long rubber hose that can reach the faucet in my front yard. The nice thing about this device is that if you have decent water pressure in your house, the suction will be strong enough to remove all the gunk stuck in between the gravel and the substrate. I use this tool for weekly water changes and for cleaning the tank at the same time. However, even though I have decent water pressure, this still could not drain water quite as fast as I would have wanted it to. It is most likely because of the small diameter of the rubber hose that came with the kit. If it was a bit wider, then more water should be able to flow through it. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Aka Aquarium Gravel Cleaner. This is not just a gravel cleaner but a tool that comes with different attachments, allowing it to have different functions. For instance, a personal favorite is the corner suction inlet. This attachment is shaped just right so that it can fit into corners easily. You can also use it for cleaning bigger tanks, thanks to the extending handle. I have two aquariums at home, one is a 30 gallon tank that is somewhat shallow and a deeper 50 gallon tank. I use this device not extended on the 30 gallon and fully extended for the 50 gallon one. I do not have any issues with siphon gravel cleaners but this electric powered one is much easier to use and more efficient. The electric submersible pump is capable of moving 320 gallons per hour, which is quite strong. This creates a suction force that is strong enough to lift all of the dirt and waste at the bottom of the tank. Now here's the problem. This cleaner is not ideal for smaller tanks. The submersible pump needs to be completely submerged to work and if there are attachments installed, the pump might peek out of the surface of the water. This is why I still use the old-fashioned siphon when I'm dealing with my smaller aquariums. The number 8 position is held by Piasu Fish Tank Gravel Cleaner 2. I'm not hating on siphon aquarium cleaning kits but this best electric aquarium vacuum is vastly superior on all accounts. You do not need to pump anything to get the water flowing, just turn on the faucet. Moreover, you can direct the dirty water straight to the drain instead of filling buckets. I have two 50-gallon tanks and this device made water changes a whole lot easier. I love this device because aside from doing a great job at cleaning the gravel substrate of my tanks, it also made the once tedious chore of water changing easy. I no longer need to lug around heavy buckets of stinky water across the house to my garden. I attach my garden hose to the outlet so I can directly water my plants using the water from my aquarium. Now, I do have an issue with the valve switch. It is not at all durable. After a couple of uses, I managed to break the switch of the ball valve. It is made entirely of fragile plastic. Fortunately, I was able to find a replacement part entirely made of metal. Next at number 9 we have Apwens Aquarium Gravel Cleaner. If you are the type who is nervous about using electricity around water, then you would love this aquarium cleaner. It works entirely on the siphoning effect. If the outlet is lower than the inlet, the water will continue draining. I enjoy using it just based on how cool it works and because it works well in cleaning the gravel substrate of my aquarium. Aside from cleaning the gravel, I also use this when I need to drain my aquariums for weekly partial water changes. I used to remove water by hand, which gets tedious rather quickly because I have three large tanks. However, with the use of this tool, draining water has become almost effortless. 
One of my tanks contains a school of small fish, tetras, mollies, etc. And I haven't accidentally sucked up any of them when I use this gravel cleaner. Aside from being very careful, there is also a sort of strainer attached inside the gravel cleaner that prevents bits of gravel and small fish from getting through. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by BD Aquarium Automatic Cleaner Vacuum. The nice thing about this product is that it is a 4-in-1 product. It is not just a gravel cleaner, but it can also remove fish waste suspended in the water and scrape off algae from the sides of the tank. It is also a pump that you can use to drain and fill the tank. I was surprised at how powerful the built-in water pump is given its small size. Even though it is a built-in pump, it has 18 watts of power, allowing it to move a lot of water. This pump provides more than enough power to suck out the fish poop stuck in between the gravel and settled at the bottom of the tank. I did have an issue with the outlet hose connection as it was not as tight as I wanted it to be. It is also leaking air, which significantly reduces the amount of suction this device produces. However, I was able to remedy it easily using a hose clamp, which should have been included in the set. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.